Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to flash the Yakchu ROM onto the Google Galaxy Nexus. Um, I have the GSM variant here. Um, the reason that you would want to flash the Yakchu ROM onto the device is to receive updates directly from Google. So I have got a bunch of files here, I'm not sure whether or not you can see them. Um, I'm going to put them in a zip file which should be in the description below. Um, I have also got some instructions here, Yakju instructions, which I'm going to open up now. And I'm going to basically walk you through them, show you how it's done. So the first thing that you need to do is to turn off your device and connect it to the computer. So here is the Galaxy Nexus that's currently turned off and it's connected to the computer. You can see it's turned off um, because obviously the screen isn't making. Um, and the second step that you need to do is that you need to hold down volume up, volume down and power. So I think the best way of doing this is to hold volume up and volume down first, then to start holding down power until you see this screen. So that was basically step number two. And you might also see um, a message um, coming up in the below right hand corner saying that it's installing driver software. Um, the next thing that you need to do is to open up a command prompt into um, a command prompt and it basically needs to be in this um, directory. So how we do this is we basically open the start menu, just type in cmd for the command prompt. Um, and basically the easiest way to um, find out what directory you are in is to basically to click anywhere in this bar to copy the address. And in the command prompt you just need to type in cd which means change directory and you will need to right click and do paste, enter and you will now be inside of that directory. The next thing that you need to do is to type in fast boot devices to make sure that your device is recognized by the computer. As you can see, this device is recognized by the computer, this bit of code here. Um, if the device is not recognized by the computer, I have attached um, a driver, universal naked driver. And you basically need to install this by going to Device Manager. You can get to Device Manager by basically right clicking My Computer, clicking Properties, then Device Manager. And you will basically have um, a device with a question mark um, somewhere and it will be a simple case of right clicking it, updating the driver software and pointing it to um, that folder, Universal Naked Driver. Um, I have basically linked um, to the source, it's the second source there, um, so I give them full credit for that driver. Um, so yeah, it's very important that your device um, comes up in the command prompt or you won't be able to do anything. Okay, so that is step four. The fifth step is to unlock the bootloader. How we do this is that we type in fastboot OEM unlock. And after you do this, you're going to see this message come up on the screen. So what you basically need to do is to select yes. So you can do this by clicking volume up to move up to yes and the power button to select yes. Now I'm not sure whether or not you can see it. Though at the bottom in red it says lock state unlocked. Now let's go back to the instructions and see what we need to do next. Okay, so now the um, uh, now that we have unlocked the bootloader um, and confirmed the unlock on the mobile, we basically need to reboot the bootloader. So you can reboot the bootloader by typing in fastboot reboot dash bootloader, which I'm going to do now. And you, will, you should see the screen um, go black and then, you know, come back on. It won't actually restart the device itself. 
um, now that we have restarted, now that we have um, rebooted the bootloader, we basically need to flash um, the bootloader. So I recommend just copying this. Copy. You can pretty much copy and paste everything from here. You don't have to type it in. Copy, paste, enter. And it didn't take very long for that to complete. We basically need to reboot the bootloader again. So if you are feeling a bit lazy, you can just copy and paste everything. So back to the command prompt. Right click, paste, enter. You can't um, copy and paste using the keyboard shortcuts because it won't work. Uh, now we need to flash the radio. So copy, right click, paste, enter. So it's currently sending the radio, writing the radio and it's finished. Now we need to reboot the bootloader. So copy, paste, enter. We need to flash the system partition. It's just going to be a matter of copying and pasting again and that was pretty quick. We need to flash the data partition. Alright, that's still going. It's still currently um, flashing the system.image file. So that should only take a few more seconds. It doesn't usually um, take very long. I'm sorry about the wonky camera. Um, I've had to use my mobile phone. I don't have my video camera or tripod on me. So we just need to wait for that to complete. Now it's currently writing the system. You won't really see anything on the um, happening on the actual device whilst, this, uh, whilst um, this is happening. You will only see what's happening um, in the actual command prompt. Okay, it's still writing the system. It's taking its time right now. It doesn't usually take this long, I don't think. Okay, it's finished that. So now we can copy and paste the user data dot image. So it's sending user data. Whilst we're waiting for that, we can get the code to flash the kernel. So right now it's just a matter of copying and pasting. Since I've already got those um, files inside of the folder with the correct name, you don't have to worry about the names of everything. Okay, it's just um, flashed the boot.image. Now we just need to flash the recovery partition. That was pretty quick. Now we just need to erase the cache or cache, depending on how you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to pronounce it cache, though in Australia a lot of people pronounce it cache. Then you just need to reboot the device, fast boot reboot. So rather than rebooting the bootloader, we are rebooting the actual device. And obviously you're going to see the device reboot now. And you're going to see a padlock, which means that the bootloader is currently unlocked. Um, I am going to show you how to relock the bootloader in a minute. Oh, it's pretty simple. I may or may not show you. Though um, it might take a little while um, for the device to turn back on for the first time. You might be waiting a couple of minutes. Though um, you can basically do the same procedure. You know, get back, you know, um, hold down the volume up, volume down, power, get back into the command prompt. And to relock the bootloader, it's just a simple um, case of typing in fastboot OEM lock. I'm not going to show you that because it's going to take too long for me to do that now. Since I can't really edit the video, I don't have enough time. So the device is currently turning on now. Um, I believe that it's going to be Android 4.0.3. Though you should have um, an available update straight away, most likely the Android 4.1.1 update, unless you are watching this video further into the future. 
So yeah, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to. Yep, okay, that didn't take too long. I'm just going to skip through all of this quickly, show you the ROM on the device. Okay, so I just need to quickly get into settings, about phone, and as you should be able to see here, it is Android 4.0.3, you probably won't see any mention of Yaktude, or it is the Yak. oh wait, no, it's actually Android 4.0.4, .4, sorry, um, yeah, you probably won't see any mention of Yaktude, or you can, um, you know, download an app from the Android market to verify that it's actually the Yaktude ROM if you want to. Um, I haven't connected the device to Wi-Fi yet, though if I connect it to Wi-Fi, um, it should basically say that an Android update is available. So let me quickly connect um, to Wi-Fi. Let me just move the phone pointed away whilst I type in the password. Okay, it's just connecting to Wi-Fi now. Let me go back into About Phone system updates and there you go Android 4.1 system update is currently available and see this um, bar at the top you may or may not be able to see it um, it's currently downloading um, the Jelly Bean update which is 144.9 megabytes and it's obviously going to download only over Wi-Fi um, so that is pretty much it for this video really. Um, if you have any questions then feel free to ask me. Um, this um, you know, guide or tutorial was made um, based off of two XGA developer um, threads which are both in the um, instruction file as sources. So if you just want to flash the device quickly without any hassle then you can just um, follow the instructions I have written there. Or if you want to refer to the original sources, then you can go to both of these um, websites um, or both of these, you know, pages on XGA developers, basically. The first one is um, for Flash and Yaktu, and the second one is for um, the universal driver, basically, universal naked driver. Um, so, yeah, that is it um, for this video. Um, tell me whether or not it worked for you. Um, feel free to ask me any questions if you have them. And thanks for watching.